International ground, United 1886, pushing back at Terminal Charlie. We'd like to request runway 19 or left if possible. Hey, only in Vegas, y'all. Only in Vegas, y'all. Yes, sir. Robby, Bronco, Libby, Condo, Giddy, Pronto, Hater, Jando, Big Face, Hundo, Big J, Rondo, Big J, Lonzo, Big Humongo. YouTube fam of. We in Vegas, baby, man. What's good with y'all, man? We are outside. And it is hot out here, man. Look, your boy is in Las Vegas, Nevada. First time ever being out here, man. I had a long plane flight, man. Long plane flight, but uh, it's all good. I'm here now. I'm about to take y'all along with me, as y'all can see. We probably gonna hit up a couple shoe spots while we out here, but uh, this is me and wifey's time. Shout out to the wifey. She's holding the camera, but um, we're just gonna be chilling out here. Real quick, I'm gonna give y'all a daily update of the fits that I wear as I'm out here, man. So today, uh, starting off, what kind of hat do I got on, baby? What kind of hat? Bruh. You don't know. What is that? I don't even know. What kind of hat is it, y'all? Y'all tell me. I do have on, I want to say it's the, uh, y'all see it. I don't know. I don't know. The A's. I got on the A's joint, man. I got on the A's joint. I didn't even know that. I just be grabbing hats. But A's hat on today for the T. I do got on a red panda T. Uh, green hits, as you can see. It got a P on the back. We got the P right there, man. When you take a look at the bottom on the shorts, I'm rocking some Nike shorts. Yellow Nike shorts, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy, but, you know, I had to go with the vibes of the green, the yellow. So on feet today, man, your boy brought out the Reverse Brazils, man. Reverse Brazils, AKA Oregon jumps, bro. You know what I'm saying? AKA the Oregon. So that's what I'm doing out here on day one, man. So, hey, make sure y'all smash that like button. Subscribe if you ain't subscribed. Enjoy the ride. We out here vibing. So yeah, man, let's go ahead and make this movie, y'all. Let's get to it. Yeah, so this the room, y'all. Yeah. On the walk -in. Let's check it out, man. So right here in the front, y'all see what's going on. It's the bathroom. Bathroom, got a nice little mirror right here. Got a tub, this need to be a jacuzzi though, but hey, I'll take it. Got a tub, got a shower. Cool, cool, cool. Double sinks in here. Marble top counters, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Okay, and that's the toilet area. Let's walk into the room now. So the room itself, I mean, it's decent, y'all. It's decent. Okay, okay. We got the king size. Got the king size bed right there. Got a closet. What's in this closet? What's in here? Okay. That's your iron and all that stuff probably in there. I don't even worry about it. TV. Flat screen right here. Okay, this is dope now. So this is the bedroom, of course, the resting area. You know what I'm saying? Right here, you got the step down. The step down area, which is like a living area to say, you know, a little chill area. So you got your couch, you got your table in the corner, your TV here, man. So we vibing, man. We chilling, we chilling, man. So yeah, can I get a view? Can I get a look of the city? There it go, there it go, voila. So it is all electrical, you know what I'm saying? You don't got to touch none of that, but yeah. Good little decent view of the city. Bam, right there. Woo, look at the pool, man. This is dope. So you got the pool down there, which is like on a rooftop because I don't know if you can see it, but the road is further down. So like this is like a rooftop pool setup. Dope, man. But of course you got the city right there. You got your mountains in the background. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all first shoe store out here in Las Vegas. Swoosh Studios is definitely a resale shop, but we gonna see what they got to offer in here, man. So look, that's crazy. Look, they got the they got the the gambling, the poker, I guess, table set up with the shoes on them, man. I know they about to tax, but let's get it. Let's see what they got, man. So on the walk-in, man. I guess this is gonna be the heat section, y'all. So, who? This is the first thing that caught my eyes. Are those the undefeateds? I think that's the undefeated Kobe's right there. Those purple joints. If we can get some focus here, right there, undefeated purple uh, Kobe joints. I have every shoe on that top row up there. I'm my Manier section on the top. But yep, I got. I don't have those Chicago joints, but I got everything else except for 
the Travis hats and those Kobe's. I pretty much got all this, man. I don't have any of these off whites right here, but um, I do got those right there. So this is an upcoming shoe right here, y'all. I think that's the upcoming. Yeah, that's an upcoming Nike Dunk right there. Those are unreleased, but they got you know some heat right here up front, man. I'm actually gonna throw those on this weekend. I'm gonna throw on some Tiffany's this weekend, man. So if y'all don't follow me over on IG, make sure y'all do that. But let's look right here, man. Look, Yeezys, Yeezys on, Yeezys on, Yeezys. I wonder if any of these are used. So these right here, y'all. These I forgot the name of these joints, but I sold my pair, and these are these are new. But I sold my pair of these, and I kind of regret it, man. This is definitely a clean pair of 700s in my opinion but they got those in here bunch 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 of foam runners and different things man i'm thinking about getting my wife a pair of these bro these they look very good on women's feet um i think my wife will look good in a pair like a black pair of these i think that'll go crazy on her feet y'all let me know how y'all feel about those lava joints but yeezys man they just had a recent big big restock on yeezys did you cop anything or did y'all leave them where they was at but these right here perfect with the fit that i have on see your boy rocking them oregon socks these will go perfect with them i actually got these in my uh my soul premise bag that's what i brought with me the reverse brazils but dunks man dunks 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 what dunk is this this is giving me ebay vibes speaking of ebay right there but this is giving me ebay vibes right here but got those right here these right here lucky green joints came out i want to say a couple years ago you know what I'm saying? But clean pair. Yo, so day two, man, I'm outside here. Y'all probably can't see it. Caesar's Palace. You know y'all probably can't see it because it's blurry, but we at Caesar's Palace, man. We outside, still in Vegas. Um, Today, we about to check out the, the shops inside Caesar's Palace. I know it's an urban necessities in there, so that's my main priority. We're gonna check out what shoes and stuff they got. Other than that, it might not be no other shoes. I think it's a Nike in there, but uh, we gonna see if we make it to that store, man. But today, real quick, man, today's fit. Phoenix Suns, you know what I'm saying? Phoenix Suns vibe on the top. Jersey, Jersey, Steve Nash, number 13, if you know, you know. I got on some white Nike shorts, y'all. White Nike shorts, nothing too crazy. But on feet, man, I had to undies. Bang! Had the undies, the core purple Nike SB Dunk Lows, man. So this was a recent pickup. I got these from Clockwork Skate Shop in my local area, man. Talk to me. How y'all feeling them, man? WL on the dunks, WL on the fit, man. But that's how I'm rocking today, man. Like I said, day two, Las Vegas. We about to get into it. Make sure y'all smash that like again if you haven't already did it, man. But yeah, man, let's check out the palace and see what they got inside for today, man. Let's get to it. Alright y'all, so here we go, we inside of Urban Necessities, your boy had to do a whole voiceover on this part because I recorded it earlier without any sound man, so here we go man, so on the walk in man, as y'all can see when you walk into the store and you walk to the left, you are surrounded by this area full of dunk so you got lows all at the beginning it starts with your dunk lows so first dunk i see was the mummy dunks i think released back in 2022 clean pair man it was a pair i was supposed to get but i never ended up getting but they do got them in there and I, let me add this in here man everything in this store is incredibly overpriced i'm sorry i'm, I'm my two days i mess with your store but y'all overpriced man but anyways man of course you got one of the recent dunks right there uh, of course the crenshaws you had the powers right there but man they got they got dunks galore every dunk you can probably think of they got it inside that store man very nicely built you know what i'm saying upscale store so you know dope in my opinion man i was seeing things that i have never seen in my life like what are these bro i know some of y'all like bro that's the bro what are the, they look like halloween that's all i can say halloween something them gotta be the the jason slash freddy bro halloween but anyways man keeping it moving as i told y'all it was the whole section full of nike dunk lows this is a pair that i did not see up until i had went to the store that is the clot nike sb dunks those are nice man um nice materials on it that's a shoe that you do not want to get any dirt on because that material on there bro it's, it's, it's gonna be a point of no return man but i'm not mad at those i think those come with a couple lace options too to kind of you know swap out on those but besides that more dunks dunks on dunks on dunks bro um we're moving now to the highs as you can see it switches over from the nike dunk lows to the nike dunk highs and i'm not the biggest fan of highs so i ain't even spend too much time in this section i was just kind of browsing man but you see what you see you know what i'm saying um this shoe right here caught my eye the 
Jordan one low of the year in my opinion. That is the year of the rabbit joints. I do own a pair of those. I never hit y'all with an own feet, but I still should do it, man. Y'all let me know if I should. But Travis Scott's on top. Uh, you got those UNC lows on the bottom right there. More Travis Scott's. Uh, on the top right there, man, you had those Scion joints, man, which is, you know, arguably a top five shoe from last year, but, you know, not here or there, but lows, man, we are in the low section, so a lot of lows. This, in particular, Jordan 1 low right here, man, it caught my attention because I feel like it has a lot of potential to, like, kind of be a very pricey Jordan 1 that looks like a collab, but this shoe was found in, like, finish lines, foot lockers, and stuff like that, so regular shoe, but these, man... The Jordan 1 High OG Shattered Backboard Satin Joints, man. I, I picked those up because I'm like, might the satin bread toes mimic with those there, man. If you know about those satin Shattered Backboards, they was very, very pricey, man. Still pricey to this day, but anyways, you got your Travs, man. You got just a lot of recent Jordan 1s right there along in that section, but definitely a lot of shoes, man. These right here, man, if you know, you know, man. Those are the Jordan 1 High Mellows. See that M right there on the tongue, but... You got the mellow joints right there. Very clean pair in my opinion, man. Like, those is tough. Those is tough. Not mad at those. But more shoes that we've seen, you know, in the last four or five years. This shoe right here is a big, big sleep. I actually threw mine on the other day because me seeing them in store kind of reminded me that I had them. But the Bloodline Air Jordan 1s, man. Fire, fire Air Jordan 1 in my opinion. They were slept on. Prices have started to go up on them, man. And um, we could argue that that has one of the best leathers like materials on an air jordan one you know from the year that it was manufactured y'all but keeping it moving you got yellow toes i'm seeing some unc toes i'm seeing some what are these yeah yeah what are those man i hey yeah y'all school me i know it's some form of jordan twos but i know what those are those are chicago's of course which are not being appreciated but you know, Jordan 2s don't get that much love, but right here we got the J Balvin 2s, which is a 2, man. It's not meant for me to have because I did place an order on those, got them for retail, but my order got canceled. So I'm like, ah, it ain't meant for me to have those, you feel what I'm saying? So um, keeping it moving, as well as, man, y'all thumbs it up. Let me know down in the comment section, do y'all like your boy's vo voiceover pause? Let me add a mean pause with that, but, you know, is it, you know, is it living up to... The live audio, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But we talking about fours right now. Couple fours, and then it switches to the threes, as you can see. Man, fours, bro. Like like the homie Unbreakable said, man, fours equal 400 plus. But you do have them all over red joints right there, man. Highly priced shoe right there. And I, I don't know why, all over red shoe. But these right here, man, look, talk to me, y'all. Talk to me. This shoe right here was a shoe that I was going to buy. I was going to buy it while I was there, but... I kind of changed my mind, number one, because the price, and number two is because, check this out real quick. So, I asked her to bring out the pack because they were selling it as a pack. So, that is the right shoe. The other shoe is the left shoe. That's the right shoe. The right shoe looks like it has way more wear and tear than the left shoe. And I'm like, how is that, you know, the same pair of shoes she was like well that's that's a weird question i don't know but they come from the same pair but the pair that was on the wall looked dead stock and then as you can see right here the raging bulls those are definitely in like mid condition they definitely are worn definitely show sign of age and all that and i think they wanted like 900 for that pack you know and i was like i'm good you know what i'm saying so moving on this is a shoe that i have been talking about a lot lately the burgundy maroon maroon not burgundy Room sixes, we need those back, but these right here, Win Like 96, I think that's the name of those shoes, but Win Like 96 joints, I almost sold my pair, but I still have them, man, that's just such a clean pair, Air Jordan 11s, in my opinion, and um, I, I, I definitely, like, stopped myself quick from selling them, but those right there, man, I seen recently, um, shout out to the homie Mike Rich, we did have those in a local outlet of mine's, they had them for retail, the uh, Hachimura, I want to say Jordan 8 joints, but I wasn't able to get them, so you know it is what it is. But these, man, these, I, another shoe I inquired about, I definitely was going to buy them. But when I noticed that he was asking about two to $300 above market, I was like, nah, bro, we got to put those down. But those are the OVO Jordan 8 joints, man, fire, fire shoe. So one day I still might actually look around and see if I can cop that black pill, but price got to be right. But anyways, right there, capping gowns, arguably one of the best 9OG colorways out there. Another five shooter, win like 72s, bruh, hard, hard. Arguably one of the best material Jordan 11s, but keeping it moving. 
down here, man, we're going to the 14s. We got those white and yellow joints right there, man. Them is, you know, hey, they cool. I don't even know which ones, which 14s those are, but they cool. You feel what I'm saying? But moving on to some Air Forces, some Supreme Hype Beast Air Forces. We got some undefeated Air Forces right here. Not bad. Don't they admit so look a little bit thick? You know what I'm saying? But anyways, Vapor Waffles, man. Love this shoe, bro. I do own that pair, so I didn't spend too much time on it, but love the Vapor Waffles. I need them. I need a pair of Lemonade Air Force Ones. That's like the only color I'm missing, but I was, I don't know, I guess the, the Bart Simpson vans caught my eyes. But anyways, saw another pair of Vapor Waffles. I actually caught that pair for $150. I think they wanted like around $600 for their pair, but I caught those for $150. But moving on, y'all more randomness those right there should have stayed where they were those should have never came out no no travis scott no no but phone posits y'all man look these right here very creative pair in my opinion could i pull them off maybe but do i want to nah nah i'm not hating on the shoe though very creative i like it but i don't think it's a shoe that i would keep but these right here man 2024 we're supposed to be expected to see this shoe right here return bro and i'm ready for it man that's the galaxy phone posits man so never owned the originals but i do look forward to grabbing that that retro when they drop but this is another pair of shoes that i wish i was able to get my hands on those air max 90s right there never was able to get my hands on those uh safari joints but i still want them man if i can find them for a good price you know i'm, I'm, I'm on them i'm on them but lebron's Hey, I'ma say it once and I'ma say it again. LeBron's are sitting wherever LeBron's are selling. Kobe's, man, look, Kobe's fire. Y'all already know, man. Shout out to the GOAT. Rest in peace to the Mamba. But these right here caught my eyes. I was like, whoa, 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 man. So these, if you guys do not know, that is the CB34 Godzilla joints, man. I think these released back in 2016. And your boy Jay, I guess I was sleeping on everything back then. Or maybe I couldn't afford it. You know, I don't know what the case was, but I was unable to get this shoe. But I saw it today and I was like, bruh. I don't know, bro. I might gotta, I might gotta check these out, man. So I asked, you know, what size and the price on that. It was my size nine. So hey, but real quick, y'all, intervention. Saw a little fan. He was like, "What's up?" Hey, I, you know, Chuck Little Doofus took a picture with him, and um, now we upstairs. Or we went upstairs in Urban Necessity. Shout out to the guy right here, man, who was helping me out. Very cool dude. He ended up giving me a discount on my purchase, but he brought me upstairs, and he was like, "We're not even supposed to let the customers try on shoes, but." I got you, man. I see what you're doing. You know, blah, blah, blah. Boom. He took me upstairs. He was like, I'm going to let you try them on. So, bam. I got them in my hand. Looking at them. Ripped them out the plastic because them joints is brand new. <laughs> Shout out to Lotto again. But anyways, you see them joints, man. Fresh out the plastic. Clean, bro. Clean. What's your thoughts on those right there, man? But he was like, you can go ahead and try them on. So, I quickly took off my court purple dunks, which are fire, in my opinion. You know, and look, the fit even went crazy with the shoes, y'all. So, like, could I have rocked that like that? Y'all let me know, man. Should I have just walked out the store with them on my feet? Y'all let me know down below in the comment section, man. Should your boy Jay should have just tied them up, laced them up, and just was like, you know what? We walking out here with some new shoes on feet, man. But anyways, you see me right there. Got them on feet, tying them up. As you can see on the side of the shoe, those like white little bubble, you know, it kind of resembles, I want to say, Godzilla's like his his tail like the spine the lumps on it you know what i'm saying that's what i think i don't know but the name of the shoe is the cb34 godzilla joints but take a look at them man look shoes from the 90s in my opinion hit different you know what i'm saying like you gotta you gotta appreciate it man but i think that that's a clean pair of og shoes the barclays from uh of course early in the 90s but recently released back in 2016 but what y'all think man talk to me man how y'all feeling them i could actually had that strap hanging off to the side but i do have it just strapped up so you know but hey my audio came back so i'm gonna let y'all enjoy the rest of it with the original audio man so voice over is done pickups that i recently got y'all terror squad air forces man yo it is this is a very very expensive middle section right here man you got your lobsters right there on the bottom dopeness 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 man so a lot of shoes a lot of shoes of course off whites just a lot man just a lot so lewis for time section and you know of course the grail of all grails what size is that a nine why does it have to be a size nine y'all like size nine in the air mags bruh look at these y'all pe's odell beckham pe cliques you got the lebron joints right there you got the odell's of course you got those yeezy joints right here 
Gucci stuff on the top, man, but very, very expensive area, y'all. Let's move over to this side. It's kind of crowded over here, but hey, we still gonna see what we can see, man. But of course, Ja Morant joints, bro. Ja Morant, uh, Swarovski joints. You got trophy rooms right here. Man, Q Rich, PE, size 15. I think that might have been a personal. Power Dunk right there, the friends and family joints. Man, y'all tell me, how much y'all think this whole section is worth, y'all? DB1s, man. Bro, they got, they got, it's a lot going on in here, man, but. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I do have, man, I got pretty much everything here. I got all those, you know what I'm saying? I still need these to complete my set, but you got trophy rooms, you got, man, yeah. It is a lot of heat, man. I'm curious. Oh, Freddy Krueger. We got to put some respect on those. That's like a $35,000, $40,000 shoe right there. Halloween dunks right here. These Jordan 3s right here, man. Those are cold, bro. I don't even know which Jordan 3s those are, but we need a, a, a general release on those right there. But Dior's, man. I need them. I need them, bro. I need those Dior's. I need the highs. I need the lows. I'm telling y'all, I'm working towards it. I'm going to get them one day, but PE's up here at the top, as you can see. You got those PEs, a lot of different PEs that we do have. Morgan joints. Yeah, they got they got a lot of PEs in here, man, but dope, man, dope. Oregon Ducks threes. But yep, yep, yep. Quite a few different types of PEs and stuff they have in. I don't even know what kind of dunks those is, y'all. But yeah, man, they got quite a few things in here. And then you got your Gucci collab with Xbox. That's an expensive game system, y'all, but when you take a look right here, man, this is this is the money section. Louis Vuitton setup, man. These is tough, bro. These is tough, man. You got your Louis V section. Cold, cold. As you can see, front of Urban Necessities. This is where you check out, man. But it's a dope setup in here, man. Very, very dope setup. I ain't mad at it at all, y'all. But let's go ahead and get up out of here. One quick look at the store. It's starting to get packed in here, too. When I came in here, it was empty. But, hey, it's starting to fill up, man. But snack center you know what i'm saying but that is it urban necessities y'all talk to me man if you're doing a w or l man comment down below w or l Alright y'all man, so hey, now that y'all have comment down below and let me know was the w or l i did pick up those cb34 godzilla joints man so that was my vacation pickup but y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on the vlog man i appreciate y'all for watching if y'all watch the full video man hey appreciate y'all man but let me know y'all thoughts on the entire video the voiceover all that good stuff but i'm gonna be back at y'all tomorrow with some more bangers man and you know hey stay humble chase your dreams and um just know that whatever you want to make happen you can make happen man just put your mind to it but yeah your boy jay gone man jay making movies man more movies on the way appreciate y'all we out Bobby, Bronco, Bronco. Libby.